unclear why he targeted uh, those folks in the news media. I, and it's unclear why he shot a nine-year-old and her mother. Yeah, there are a lot of questions tonight for the suspect you see right there. Police say Keith Kelvin Moses is not talking after he reportedly shot and killed several people in Orlando, Florida yesterday. Among the victims, you heard from the officer there, a nine-year-old girl killed in her own home at random. Her mother was also shot but survived. There was another woman shot and killed in her car hours before. A TV news reporter killed while covering that original shooting, and a TV news photographer who is now recovering in the hospital. And the local TV news industry is small. Yeah. Today we learned the name of the photographer injured. He got his start here at KOB4. His name is Jesse Walden. I worked with him, sometimes off the clock, as we tried to deliver stories that we thought would knock your socks off. Today we are all dealing with an array of emotions, from relief that our colleague is alive, to grief and anger that more than one family has been shattered. This is how most conversations start with Jesse Walden. How you feeling? Amazing. Uh, of course, amazing. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you just said that. Despite laying in an Orlando hospital bed, Walden has not lost his sense of humor or optimism. It's interesting. This is both my first and my last semester here at News 22. Walden got his start at New Mexico State University. He was interested in film, but found his calling at KRWG in Las Cruces. Um, I would always text my mom and she would text a lot of her friends and they would, they actually, last semester they would start having parties to watch News 22. His degree carried him to KOB4 and his fearlessness. Three, two, one. <laughs> you okay? Our photographer Jesse was hit directly by the first bottle rocket. Propelled him to new heights. As a KOB photographer, he'd go anywhere to get the shot, even for a ride on top of the Sandia Peak Tram. Eventually, that took him to Orlando, Florida. A woman was shot in her car, uh, so we rolled out there to go to a live shot at 4 o'clock. They were covering a homicide. The crime scene had already wrapped up, so we had no real clue of where the, the car was previously. And apparently, I ended up parking exactly where that car was before. I guess whoever this guy is, something wrong with him. But he was shooting people all day who parked there. Jesse and his reporter, Dylan Lyons, were in an unmarked vehicle. Jesse got out of the driver's seat and was going to open the trunk to get his gear. Then he heard gunshots. I turn around because I'm like, oh, there must be a drive-by shooting going on. And I... Uh, see that he's shooting at me. I was trying to figure out if I could kind of play cat and mouse with him and avoid being shot. Then a photographer with uh, at another station ran over and rendered aid to me and actually helped to put pressure on me and, you know, got his hands all bloody, like keeping me alive. He was shot once in the groin and considers himself lucky. Then I was waiting for the ambulance to get there. The neighbors opened the car door and they said, oh, this guy's dead. And he said he's been shot in the heart. How you doing? You know, Dylan was a reporter I worked with every day. You know, we were, we were best friends. And he was just a sweet guy. He was young. And he loved, you know, he loved, he's, he really did a good job. He loved trying hard. And that's what we like to do. We like to push the boundaries and we like to get our hands dirty. Dylan Lyons was 24. And it's so unfair that it happened to Dylan that he died. Jesse says he thinks he's going to make a full recovery. His mom's with him in the hospital. She's from Las Cruces. But three other people had their lives taken that day. Dylan Lyons, again, the reporter. The first woman killed, Natasha Augustine. And nine-year-old Tiana Major. We'll have much more on Jesse's recovery, of course, as he, he starts to feel better.